Welcome to the Counteract YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us for this short video tutorial. This video will show you how you can extract and update product terms across multiple branches. We always had the option to extract and update for a single location. Um, so that's under the stop control menu, maintenance, and you've got the tile here. So if we click on that one, you can have a quick look here. You can of how it works you're probably familiar with how this one works um, already um, so again the help file is incredibly important it gives you pointers as to what information you need to include how the column headers are important and what needs uh, whether they're um, used for identification purposes or not um, this particular one touches on the subject that there is a multi branch update available so if we click on the new feature which is the multi branch update so if we click here um, you've got branch available on that top top screen there. We have a look at the help file. Again, the help file differs. Um, so we've got columns A to H that are used for the identification purposes. We've got columns B, T and U that are used for the information, pur information purposes. Um, so it's incredibly important that you follow the instructions here. Um, we'd always recommend that you run the extract first so that you get the correct column headers to begin with and then you manipulate the CSV file and load that back in. Um, so what I'm going to do now is run an extract and manipulate the file and pop it back in to show you how it all works. So I'll extract uh, a range of products so it doesn't take too long. Um, pop in the product code that we're interested in. There we go. And we look at all branches to see exactly what the terms are for different locations and creates a file. So we've got a CSV file here with all the correct column headers. Uh, the first column being branch, so we've got all the locations that the um, product is sold at there. And the relevant buying terms. So I'm going to manipulate this file now just to show you how it can be loaded back in and how it all works together. So I'm going to select the relevant rows here and delete. And if I pop over to the buying terms column, make a change and apply that to all the other rows fill series and I'll save that back as a CSV file um, okay and I'll rename the file as buying terms uh, multi branch and browse to my desktop so it's easy for me to find save we can close that now. So change the extract to update. There we go. And browse to the file. So I think it's the top one there. Click OK and open. And OK. So if we scroll to the bottom of this report, you can see that nine terms have been loaded in correctly. And so they've been updated successfully across the multiple locations. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us on the information displayed on the screen for further assistance.